wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Well, hello everybody. Welcome over to the Neverlander page. Today we are checking out the Grove here, which is um, just, they call it Orlando. I think it's technically Winter Garden, but um, this is a uh, community of condos. They've got several different buildings here. You can um, purchase these units. I do believe you have to rent them out a certain time, uh, maybe not a certain time of the year, but uh, certain amount of times throughout the year um, and I will have to say that um, we've already stayed one night typically I like to do these uploads after we've stayed uh, our entire trip so that way we can give you guys an honest review I think a lot of people get to uh, the facilities and they're so excited when they first walk in that they give you all the good so we'd like to give you a 100% <clears throat> honest review excuse me I gotta say uh, so far pretty awesome there's some little nuances, things we'll talk about towards the end that, uh, you know, like any other hotel resort, things that you pick up on. But um, when you walk into the, the lobby, it is very clean, very nice, smells good. That's a good plus. Um, not busy this morning, the reception area. Floors are nice, those are nice. I want those in my house. Concierge reception area, super clean. Staff has been um, really great. And uh, you can see, got some uh, staff out here wiping down the chairs early this morning, getting the dew off. So that way you can uh, come out and enjoy the, the morning. It's about, it's just before eight o'clock. And um, it feels wonderful. Temperatures in Florida right now are fantastic. <clears throat> morning. Morning. Good morning. So as you walk out to uh, from the main lobby area, they got a nice lake here on the other side. You can see the fountain out there. But uh, yeah, clean facilities. It's nice. Now I will say that the um, the location of this resort is um it's it's about 20 minutes from everything which isn't bad and that includes traffic and the way that you come here if you're familiar with um where coronado springs is and the exit from the disney property uh from that point the um the drive right there has a lot of lights a couple highlights from this location and the reason why we chose it is because they have a water park that's included with your stay. They've got several slides, um, a, a lazy river, and uh, some pools. And um, it looks to be pretty awesome. We have not gone there yet we will tomorrow we're gonna go there so we'll vlog that so they've got a uh, a pool just kind of a relaxing pool on the back side here with some cabanas that you can rent out and uh you do have to rent those out ahead of time just on the other side you've got this relaxing outdoor bar restaurant area always a big fan of these <laughs> love being able to walk up grab a drink it does look like those bay doors open up and you can grab um, some beverages awesome area to just chill out go back over to the pool hang out do your thing so over here in building one they have another reception area it does look like there's a gym let's go check that out I don't see anybody using the gym just yeah, there's somebody in there this is nice 
full facility. Yeah, get kind of a better view of the gym from out here. They do have some uh, free weights, treadmills, machines. A lot of times you come to a gym like this and they'll have like three treadmills, some, some weights. You don't get your full workout in. So it's good to see some people in there this morning. So outside the pool, you got your uh, towel area. That's smart. You use your key, get your towels. Whoop. Nope, not warm, but uh, clean towels. And when you're done, you just throw them into the poop chute and rent these uh, swan boats. Go out there on the lake. It does look like it's closed off over there. I'm not sure if that's because uh, the water, there's overflow from Hurricane Ian or not. Um, Safari Water Park is this way, currently closed right now, probably too early. It's understandable, but you can see way over there. Yellow water slides, some other people just walking around, checking out the facility. Eh, that's kind of nice. White sand beaches. Come out here, dig your toes in the sand. So we have vlogged from um, Homewood Suites. Uh, I'll put a link right here for you to, to check out, which is adjacent to a Homes 2 that's off of Flamingo Crossing. And the reason why I mention that is because you, you do pass those hotels in order to get here. This does kind of feel like it's off the grid, which I like, because if you're used to staying off of I-4 and the hotels and the resorts in that area, um, those can get, it can get crowded over there. And especially if you're leaving a theme park late, I highly recommend coming this way because not a lot of people are staying over here. Uh-oh, that's a little dangerous. Let's pick that up. I don't want anybody to accidentally step on that. Yeah, walk in the, the facilities, guys. It is really clean. It kind of has, it kind of has that, uh, that Disney vibe where, uh, you know, lawns are well uh, maintained, bushes and trees, well manicured, lights, things like this, the uh, areas uh, that you can hang out and just relax. Really nice, um, comfortable, and uh, definitely something that um, so far recommend, highly recommend. Um, make sure you stick around to the end because there are some things that we noticed when we first arrived and then also when we, um, as we've been staying in our room, that we like to bring to people's attention. And it's not to nitpick by any stretch of the means. It's just to say, like, be real realistic, right? You, you read a lot of reviews from people where they get upset because there's you know, tear in the carpet, something like that. And uh, so we just want to, we want to be able to mention those things. But not going to head over to the water park right now. We'll definitely be checking that out later. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. Excited to give you guys our final review at the end. So enjoy. Sometimes you go to hotels and look we're really big fans of staying on Disney property um, you just you get this service this level of service from the staff and everybody that is just it, you, you start to expect it elsewhere and I will absolutely say that so far here we've had a great great experience it's good like I'll give you an example I'm just as I'm walking around here they make eye contact with you. They say hello. They say good morning. Nobody's just like in their lane doing their own thing. And that's nice. It's nice to feel appreciated, nice to feel welcomed. And so um, that is definitely one thing that um, I want to point out because just like at Disney properties, people are very friendly. And, you know, I'm a big believer that um, the attitude of employees and staff starts at the top. If they're disgruntled with their managers, supervisors, if they're not happy with the job, that absolutely translates to the uh, patrons at the facility. And uh, so far here, man, it's been, everybody has been great. Super helpful, super polite, 
and that is uh, that is definitely one thing that needs to be uh, shared because it's important, right? You don't want to, especially doesn't matter where you spend your money. Doesn't matter if it's a lot or if it's a little. You just want to be appreciated. So, yeah, I'll end in saying that much. All right, so we're gonna walk back into the first building that we stepped into. Take a look at the market. Americanos, caramel macchiatos, oh, and if you forget anything at home, got a handful of stuff, even, even hair brushes, wet brushes. That's something you don't normally see. Cough drops, man, they do, they really got just about everything, even kids, children's time on These, I am a huge fan of Sheila G's brown brittle. Guys, you can get a huge bag of this at Sam's Club. Um, they give you these on Southwest flights. They are so good though. Come over here in the afternoon, get yourself some, uh, oh, they got, uh, they do some breakfast here too. Classic egg, bacon, American cheese. New York style bagel, look at that. So you can get some uh, extra things here. Oh my gosh, they got, Full pizzas, we got bread for you. I mean, if you're really looking to uh, do it up in your room, got Wonder Bread, hamburger buns, kind of pricey. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Uh, I mean, look, it's it's for your convenience, right? Look at the size of this jelly jar, man. I mean, if you're gonna be staying on property and your kids like uh, PBJs, that's where it's at. I gotta say, I'm, I am pretty impressed by that. That's, that was a lot. That was a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of food, a lot of things you can grab. Man. Heading back to the room, um, you enter from, now we're on the first floor. At first we were kind of like bummed about that because you want to be a pine, you want to have a nice view from your patio. But having kids, being on the first floor is great because you don't have to worry about their little feet pedaling around and waking the people up below you. So you know, we've got a little one, our one-year-old is, he just started walking. So I'm not gonna do a uh, room tour just yet. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna wait till the end of that, but uh, hang out, got a lot more to show you guys.
it fast? We do this so fast. What'd you think, Salem? Yeah? Good. out the room we are in 2103 and as you can see walk into tall ceilings wide open flooring and a child on the couch over there hi buddy you say hi hi i'm just eating some power waffles typically what i like to do is shoot a video after we've stayed here for a while because i notice a lot of people that do hotel reviews will come into the room, they'll show you their first impression, and yeah, that's great, but what about the rest of the stay, right? Like, you end up discovering things as you stay on property, and so that's why I prefer to end uh, the vlog with our stay in the room. So that way we can, we can share the good and the bad. There's a lot of good here. There's a couple things that we're gonna share here shortly that uh, talk about things that you might wanna be prepared for. I know, I'm sorry. I'm blocking your TV, I'm so sorry. Uh, things that you want to be prepared for and just things that, you know, you, you want to take into consideration doesn't necessarily, uh, well, it could, it could reflect poorly in your eyes, right? But, um, yeah, so let's just, let's just go over some of the good first. So the TV, uh, right here in the living room is nice. That's, I'm going to say it's a 50 inch, something like that. Um, works great. Picture quality is good. Um, you can see just how much room there is um, here in the living room. This couch converts into a bed. Those two pieces come out. You pull the bed out. Uh, Ian slept there the, uh, the first two nights. Slept well. But uh, look at these. Look at this ceiling, guys. That's that's huge. I have no idea how tall this is. I'm gonna guess 20 feet. Now we are on the first floor, which is great because with kids, their feet, their Pitter patter on the floor. Obviously, let me pick this up because that's kind of gross. Uh, the pitter patter on the floor can be a nuisance to the people downstairs. And uh, Sam's doing some stuff on your computer, but you got a nice table here with a bench seat. Uh, we all sat here comfortably this morning and had breakfast. But uh, the kitchen, guys, the kitchen's really nice. Um, I'm doing some dishes right now. Came with, uh, you know, glassware. Even got some wine glasses up there. I like this. It's got some um, like Tupperware cups for kids in case those end up uh, falling down to the ground. We had bowls, dishes, small dishes, coffee cups. And I didn't discover these knives until uh, we were here already for one full day. But uh, got your utensils for when you're doing cooking. It is an electric stove. Um, and it's it does what it, it's supposed to do. So... Nice GE microwave. Um, yeah, everything is is decently clean. Some of the things like the paper towels, I think um, probably. I, now here's the thing. <clears throat> I know that people own these units or own some of the units. I don't know if everybody has a piece in this or if the resort. I, I'm not sure how it how it works. But I will tell you that. Um, there is a cleaning crew that comes in. They drop off toilet paper and paper towels and things like that. Paper towels are probably bought in bulk because they're very cheap. Like you rip one and it rips in half. But that's all right. That's okay. You got a GE stainless steel refrigerator. And this has been great. Um, every morning, with the exception of yesterday, we've, we've had breakfast. We had eggs and all kinds of yummy stuff. Freezer is decent size. So... This is an excellent place to, to consider when you're gonna have an extended stay. Trash can right here. 
And then you even have a washer and a dryer. Now you've got your iron ironing board, power box in case things blow, nice ream electric heater. So it's, it's a nice spot. You think this might be considered for a pantry, but uh, there is uh, a pantry located just across from the kitchen. And you can see we have snacks in there. There was a lot more stuff that was in here when we first got here. But uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to have all these things. I'll show you my feet just to kind of give like a, you can see there's plenty of walking space. It's, it is a, a very big, spacious room. And again, with these, these ceilings, um, it's nice. Now, being on the first floor, one of the things that's a little bit of a bummer, we did get a patio, but we had to deal with people coming in. This is a 15 minute parking before you head into the hotel. Um, so hanging out here, it's nice. Um, but at nighttime, we saw a lot of lights. As you can see, people getting in and out of their cars here. We saw lights shining through our window, this window, and of course the kids' window is right there where they slept. It was a little bit of a bummer, but still got um, got a pretty view here. Wish we were upstairs. Um, you know, maybe not looking overlooking the courtyard here, but uh, overlooking pool area or something like that. But it's okay. That's all right. The, the benefit of being down here on the first floor is probably these ceilings. So, yeah. And Corbin's just doing his thing over there. Just chilling out. Yeah. Okay. Let's show you the bedrooms. <laughs> hi. All right, so just across from the... Hi. Just across from the kitchen, you have... Hi, Harlow. Hi, Harlow. <laughs> Come this way. All right, so this is the uh, this is the bedroom. Harlow and Salem have been using these beds. These are fulls. I thought they were queens, but you can see Harlow is seven years old, plenty of room. Uh, both her and her brother did sleep on those last night together. Um, but here you go, nice view. And we just discovered. Yeah, we just discovered that cricket out there. Wow, look at the size of this cricket. <laughs> I think that that might be poop right there. I think he just pooped. But um, yeah, big room, again, huge ceiling. You've got a ceiling fan and uh, the drawers, guys, decent size, right? I mean, six large drawers. And uh, over here you have, you do have an alarm clock with some charging ports, um, a lamp, you can put some shoes and things like that down there. And you've got a door right here to the bathroom, just as you have this sliding door to the bathroom also. And um, as you can see, hello. Whoa, almost got smacked by Harlow. Decent size, all right? Why don't you stand in here? It's, I love when they do the LED lights behind like that. But um, yeah, not, you don't have two sinks in here, but two people can be getting ready. Um, and the bathroom, bathroom is, is decent size also. Nice porcelain toilet. Yeah, and I just discovered this. There's a, another walk-in closet in this room, so if you wanna hang stuff up, put your shoes up on the racks, you can do that. Um, they all come with uh, Be Kind shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. I've never used it, but I will tell you that it smells really good. But uh, you've got decent shower heads with, with good uh, pressure. You can take a bath, the kids can take a bath if they want. So, yeah, decent size, guys. Nice. I mean, most, most hotels, this is all you're gonna get. This and this. And there might be a coffee maker somewhere there, but you're not gonna get all of this. So, yeah, this is nice. Let's check out the, the main bedroom. Okay, so final part of the room tour here is what would be the master bedroom. And uh, that is a full-size king. And I will say two things. I left the sheet on here. You'll notice we always rip everything off on our final day. But one thing we thought was kind of strange is there's no fitted sheet. They just throw a sheet around the bed. Eh, it's okay. I mean, it works, but <laughs> that was another one of those small things that just kind of caught our attention. Like, what? 
I will say that I slept incredible on this bed, and that's always a very important thing. Nice pillow top. This is a Posturepedic Sayer Prolix Limited. So um, I slept great. I was telling Kristen uh, this morning that just about every night or every morning I woke up, I felt like I slept really, really good. And specifically last night, knowing that we have a long drive ahead of us today to go back home, it was, it was important that I slept good last night and I really did. So that's a nice thing. You've got uh, dresser drawers with lamps. You've got this lamp back here, nice uh, seat. Again, um, big, big window. I can't say anything about the room being loud itself because we sleep with a uh, sound machine for my son to make sure he sleeps good and I've kind of adopted it. I don't want to say it's just for him. Um, and so we didn't hear neighbors on this side. We never heard anybody above again. Got a nice fan up there, but huge, huge ceilings um, here on the first floor. Drawers are giant, just like the other ones. Um, we didn't end up using all of these. And again, having drawers in the other room, drawers in here drawers out in the living room or storage cubbies anyway um, that was nice the bathroom very good uh, dual sinks plenty of storage here as well uh, love the mirror everything was functional um, as it should be you got both a bath and a shower the bath is good um, can fit an adult comfortably I don't know about two people showers wide can definitely Get frisky in there if you want. There's <laughs> enough room for two people. You've got a separate area for the bathroom. That's nice. Full length mirror, which is which is great. And plenty of uh, space to hang things. It does come with those um, the hangers. And of course, a uh, storage. Uh, a safe for things like uh, money and testicles. All in all, um, very happy with the stay, very comfortable beds, very comfortable rooms with the little nuances, the nicks on things, stuff like that. Eh, you take the good with the bad, but um, really the good just outshined the bad overall. So very happy. One thing we're really happy about is the air conditioning. The air conditioning unit itself is great. And if you've seen some of our other vlogs, you are stuck at some of these uh, hotels, lowering that to about 68, but this one, it'll get freezing in here. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. But uh, it's nice to have that as, a, um, as an option if you need it. So let's point out some of the things that we noticed being here where we were like, uh, uh, yeah. Now I will preface uh, what I'm about to say by saying this again. I don't know if this is reflective of the owner of the facility or if it has if it's if it's the facility itself. So and, and, and a lot of these are just they're they're minute things. It's not it's not anything major, um, but it is some of those things where you're like, come on guys, like this this should be good. So so first thing that uh, we noticed immediately was there were not enough uh, ports. We didn't bring the box units to plug into the standard wall sockets. Um, so that, that piece kind of sucked. We did finally notice here in the kitchen that there's this unit. There is the ports on uh, this wall here. There's the ports in the bedroom on the alarm clock. But with kids and having iPads and things like that, you're gonna wanna make sure that you bring the wall chargers. That just makes your life a little bit easier. Another thing is this coffee maker. It being really, really small, uh, you basically have to brew like one cup. You can do like one and a half cups. Um, and then not having the coffee filters when we came in here we were forced to use paper towels and so that's kind of a bummer like that just feels like that's a standard but they did not have them here in the units and uh, we did not use this coffee we went out to target and brought our own so that was kind of bummer it is nice to have all the different sugars such sugar substitutes you got your own coffee made here so that's good but again not having coffee filters kind of a bummer um, I did, I do like that they had the plates, the forks, the silverware, all that kind of stuff. Um, it is kind of a one-time use though, especially with a family of six. You go through, everybody has a meal, you're going to end up doing the dishes. Um, so more dishes would have been nice, but again, something minute to complain about. Um, I will say that we got very excited about having the washer and dryer units. Unfortunately, there's no laundry detergent. 
so you got to bring your own laundry detergent. And again, I don't, I don't know if we're missing it. I mean, we look through the drawers, um, but it's not out. It's not anywhere in the kitchen. Um, it's not anywhere in the bathrooms. So we just assume that you have to bring your own laundry detergent. And um, yeah, so that's kind of a bummer. It is great to have it in the room, especially if you are flying somewhere. I'm a big proponent of washing all your stuff, packing it, getting home, and being able to just put that stuff away. In fact, that's kind of a new thing for us uh, to do, but yeah, that was disappointing. We did find some cockroaches in the room. Look, I know that that could be a huge turnoff for some people. It is Florida. There's a lot of bugs down in Florida. I've seen cockroaches in Disney hotel rooms. I've seen different bugs in different places. If there was a ton of them, if we found them in the bedroom, it would be it would be a deal breaker. We did find, I found one, I killed it in the uh, kitchen. Kristen saw uh, another one at the same time, um, but we haven't seen any sense. And again, if you look outside, you see all the shrubbery, you see the, that massive cricket, like you're gonna, you're gonna find things in, in the, in the, um, in the unit, not a deal breaker. I mean, just again, these are things that like be realistic. And, um, you know, if it's, if it's something where you're like, ah, I'm out on that, you're probably going to find something else somewhere where you're going to run into that anyway. So not a big deal. Something that we were a little bit disappointed by were these notches, little nicks and things like that that we found um, on some of the furniture. Um, again, something minute to complain about. But, you know, at a Disney hotel, for example, we, we never see that. It seems like if somebody breaks something, that's gonna get removed and replaced. When we first walked into the room, this TV was hanging crooked. So I just kind of like tilted it, put it back in place. Um, and again, not a, not a big deal, but you're setting the standard and first impressions, and this is why we always do this, um, instead of just walking in the room and being like, oh wow, this is amazing is we want to point out things like this just so again you you will you'll have a, a fair expectation will your room have a crooked tv probably not all right some other things that we noticed was in the master bedroom we turned on the tv put some cartoons on for our son the tv turns on you see the welcome screen but all the channels are black so that wasn't working in that room again not sure if that's reflective of the unit uh, not not sure if that's reflective of the owner of this facility or what could be a loose cable didn't check um, We did only have one roll of toilet paper in each bathrooms when we got here um, With a family of six you can imagine that we went through that fast. We literally went out uh, ran out Went to the pool came back and nobody had replaced anything And so we were a little disappointed went to parks came back and somebody had come and, and replaced them But with only one more roll not like two or anything like that, just to make sure that we're, we're well taken care of. The tissue box, there was only like four tissues in there. Got through that, that was empty, that was not replaced when the person came in here. Um, so that was, again, I guess more reflective of the housekeeping, but minor, like, like little, little, little tiny things. There are a lot, there was a, there's a pretty big hole in the hallway out here as you're walking in, um, somebody probably hit that with a hand cart, like a, um, like a suit, suitcase cart. Um, so that hasn't been repaired. We did notice that there were a lot of tiles um, in the lobby and specifically out by the pool where they're like shifting. So that could be a little dangerous, you know, if your feet are wet and your kids are running around. I mean, so just, just small things like that where, um, you know, easy repairs, but nobody's made the effort. This is a little bit of a bummer. There's significant gaps here. So as the sun is coming up, um, or again, I had mentioned that cars are coming in. The, uh, the blinds here are not, they don't fully cover the window. Um, it's nice that they have the, the base covering up there at the top. It'd be good if they at least had them on the sides as well, but meh. And again, those are, that's a, that's a, that, that might seem like a long checklist of things, but those are, that's everything that we noticed where we were either a little disappointed, wall sockets, uh, USB ports, um, or we just kind of picked up on these, these nuances and, and we felt the need to share them with you guys. I did notice this in the room, which is great because you don't want to walk into your room and, and smell any of this really. So hundred percent non-smoking. 
Overall, um, a really, really big fan of this location. When you take into consideration how much it costs to stay on Disney property and some of the other hotels, even the Hilton hotels and hotels off of uh, Disney Springs, I will absolutely say that this is a great, great consideration. So we paid $209 per night. There is a resort fee of $35 a day. Um, but when you take into consideration everything that they have here, not bad. And there are some other hotels that charge that with half of this, half of this stuff. So um, not bad. Parking, the, the parking garages are clean. They're big, kind of tight. If you've got a big vehicle, it's, it's tricky to get through there. So, you know, I've looked at this place before and I've seen where the rooms are like four, 450. Um, I don't know if it's because Hurricane Ian just, just rolled through and there's a lot of cancellations. I don't know what's going on. But when we found the hotel for 209, we, we couldn't pass. Especially when you take into consideration like Art of Animation and Pop Century, some of these, uh, the lower hotels on Disney property um, that are actually charging more right now for this uh, during, during the time that we're staying here. It is a uh, fall break for us in Georgia. So it's, it's very crowded down here. But um, absolutely something that I would give consideration to. Yeah, I mean, if you see what you like, check out the website and, uh, and check out more of the rooms. They do have a three bedroom. That was, I think, another 50 bucks more a night, which isn't bad, especially if you're gonna split that with somebody. Uh, it's a no-brainer, guys, so anyway. Hey, guys, one final thing I wanted to bring to your attention here is this quick screen record of my phone of the different communications that we received from the facility while we were there. I think it's a great way to remain in contact with the guests. I mean, we received updates that were happening on the property, and that included invites to a complimentary wine tasting, some uh, drink specials that were taking uh, place at the bar, I just thought, overall thought that this was a great way to uh, stay in contact um, with the facility over things that were taking place each night. So really appreciated that. Um, ending this vlog, listen, I know we ended with a lot of uh, the things that, uh, little nuances and negative things that we found at the facility. But overall, we are really, really, really big fans of the Grove Resort and Spawn. Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, have you been there? Would love to know. Uh, leave us a comment down below uh, if you're considering it and you found this vlog and you feel like this is something that uh, gave you encouragement to go. Uh, let us know. We'd love to know. Uh, and finally, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification so that way you can be notified every single time we upload new content. And if you haven't already, go click on our um, hotel and resort uh, playlist and you can check out the different locations that we visited as well. So listen, be good to one another, love somebody extra special today and do something kind for a stranger. Let people know that they matter. Even if you don't know who they are, simple smile makes somebody's day. All right. Love you guys. Be good. Bye-bye.